Hello everyone. Welcome to your morning coffee. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. So this is going to be a general energy reading for today, Monday, December 10th, 2018. Um, this is not sign specific. Uh, you know, this is just a big old general energy reading. It's not love or career specific. It's literally just what spirit wants to discuss with us today yes and it's just because it's coming through today just because the video is dated december 10th it doesn't necessarily mean that um, it's something that's going to happen today or you know it could be something that has happened already it's maybe something yet to come it may not be something that'll happen for you at all but i do encourage you guys to stick around hang out with us and lend an ear you know you may get some good insight onto anything, really. You never really know. Yeah? All right. So, without further ado, let's get straight into it, everyone. Okay, here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Monday, December 10th, 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, so I'm seeing strong orange energy today. Um, and I'm hearing emotional value. This has to do, for many of you, this has to do with, I'm picking up a, like a Christmas holiday vibe, Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever you, whatever you celebrate. Um, and just, I'm picking up energies of the holiday season. I feel like um, people are starting to settle into the emotional reality of the, of the season, whether that's good or bad for you. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's for you to define. I'm not really getting either. I'm just... I'm just getting the sense of emotions are a bit high or running a bit high. Again, that could be good or bad. Um, and the connecting factor or the defining factor is the holiday season, okay? So, I'm just gonna shuffle this up a bit. Monday, December 10th. 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, so now I'm seeing green indicating the heart chakra. Um, heart healing, heart chakra opening, um, people expressing themselves from their heart. Um, our hearts are usually more, a little more open than normal around this time, so that makes perfect sense. I'm going to give this one more shuffle, and then we'll see what we've got for the day. Monday, December 10th, 2018. Don't forget to come see me for happy hour tonight. 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to do like a quick general energy reading, and then I'll be available if anyone would like to do a single question reading for 20 bucks, because it is happy hour, y'all. Woo woo. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see what we've got for today. Monday, December 10th, 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. Monday, December 10th. Woo! Okay. Alright, there we go. Excellent. Alright, guys. Underneath the deck, we've got the Nine of Cups here. So someone is very much in manifestation mode, okay? The Magician, the King of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Five of Swords, the Star, okay? We're going to start there, and then I'll take these in a second. But someone is definitely in some sort of a manifestation mode. Um, there is an energy... Well, here, let's start here. The Magician and the King of Pentacles, okay? Um, very much focused on finances. 
focused on career, uh, uh, rebuilding, okay? Rebuilding their lives after some sort of, I want to say destruction. I mean, we did have the tower come out last week, twice. Um, and then if you saw the Twin Flame reading yesterday, the tower did come out for both the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine, as well as the tower was a flyer for the Divine Masculine while I was pre-shuffling. But um, there is some secretive energy around, but I really feel like someone is suffering in silence or healing in silence, okay? With the Seven of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the star, all right? So you have the nine of cups and you have the star here. So there's definitely a whole lot of wish fulfillment that's coming through, even though it may not necessarily feel like it or look like it right now. But someone is definitely rebuilding, um, managing their finances. You may be going through a career change, but something that's going to be much better suited for you Um, and I'm also, I'm seeing an energy of someone literally just taking their power back, um, taking their, taking their world back, their existence back. Maybe even, some of you may be re-identifying yourselves, switching up your identity in a way. But this is, would be, if you are doing that, this would be um, in a way that is much more beneficial to you. Let's see if we can get, what's the rest of the story here? All right. Wheel of Fortune. The Lovers, Knight of Pentacles, Five of Cups, and the Page of Swords. Wow, that sure is a lot. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so there's definitely an energy of change in the air here. Okay. Um, karmic cycles are changing. You could be attracting a brand new person here with the Lovers. You could be attracting a soulmate. Um, this could indicate a twin flame. The lovers is an indication sometimes of a twin flame, but again, this is not specific to anything, so it doesn't have to be. Uh, I do see some of you are in the process of healing after some sort of deception, some lies, backstabbing, some one-upmanship, five of swords energy, twisted masculine energy, um, fights, uh, self-defeating situations, lose-lose situations. Someone recently got up out of that. Um, but I'm also, I'm getting an energy of you're manifesting a king of pentacles here. For some of you. For others of you, the magician and the king of pentacles is you, um, uh, changing, you know, jobs, manifesting something new, manifesting a new career, uh, manifesting better finances, more stability with your finances. But now in this bottom row here, I'm seeing there is a big change happening when it comes to romance in a way. But um, the Wheel of Fortune and the Lovers are saying that. Now the Wheel of Fortune and the Lovers really could be um, karmic cycles coming to an end and karma changing directions changing because of a union within with the lovers here and then with the knight of pentacles you see this is okay so this is where they, like it, the story kind of like breaks off and switches over to the manifestation of potentially a new partner because we have the knight of pentacles now and the knight of pentacles energy is saying to me that someone is indeed coming closer now, there is a sense of regret and remorse with this person here in the Five of Cups. And they're approaching as the Knight of Cups along with the Page of Swords energy. Oh, I didn't even realize. You can't really see. But here, the Page of Swords. We have the Page of Swords. We have the Five of Cups. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay? Um, someone is attracting a soulmate here. But what's happening is there's some sort of, there's an energy of this person having some sort of regrets, 
maybe for not taking the situation seriously at first and kind of passing up on it, but now is realizing they actually do want to approach in some way. So with the Page of Swords energy, it's like they're trying to figure out how to do that. Well, the Page of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles energy, they're trying to figure out how to do that. Okay. Trying to figure out how to approach you here. Now, tying this into the rest of the situation here, Seven of Swords. Now, see, the Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords, coupled with the Five of Cups, that's talking about, um, you know, some something that happened between you two <clears throat> that didn't really allow the connection to get off the ground here. But... Someone is having some sort of change of heart with the Wheel of Fortune and the Lovers. There's a lot of secretive energy, though, between the Page of Swords and the Seven of Swords. But I don't really see, other than um, Seven of Swords energy being in the past as if there was some sort of past relationship in which maybe you were cheated on or um, just people weren't honest with you, it was not a balanced and honest situation, um, which then led, led to Five of Swords energy. The Five of Swords in this situation I'm getting is very egoic, um, is one-upmanship. And now this could be, this could fall on both on both sides of the equation at some point. Um, somebody did something deceptive and then the other person got hurt and so maybe wanted to get back at that person at that other person. But that if that was res resonating with you, that's in the past because you have the star here, which is saying to me that you're healing from that situation or you have healed from that situation. And now uh, with the Nine of Cups, coupled with the Magician and the King of Pentacles, now you're manifesting someone new, a new situation. But I'm really, what I'm also getting here is you continue to manifest this as you focus on your stability, your finances, putting your, piecing your life back together in some cases. That is all in service of this wish fulfillment, this manifestation that is coming through here. I'm getting also that for some of you, this King of Pentacles that you're manifesting into your life, this is someone that is, you know, very stable, very grounded, um, is established in their own way. And could potentially be, I'm really feeling an energy of it's you two could, once come once you come together, you really could grow and flourish together quite well because your world will kind of line up and everything will just kind of flow. And I feel like it's going to, it would be a very abundant situation, abundant relationship between the two of you because you both are, would be well established in your own fields, which could potentially intertwine here um but i feel like this person is coming out of some sort of deception as well and is in a healing process so this is like you two are kind of aligning in this way which is pretty cool like you two have an under you you would understand each other once you know you were to have the conversation about what's gone on in your past relationships and that kind of thing, right? But I'm definitely getting a strong energy of karmic cycles are coming to an end and there's some sort of counterpart that's coming in here. Wheel of Fortune, the Lovers, and the Knight of Pentacles. This person is approaching slowly, okay? I mean, they are the King of Pentacles, okay? They are the King of Pentacles. And they are manifesting, it's almost as if you're manifesting each other, which is kind of cool. But because they are the King of Pentacles, they are going to be moving pretty slowly. They're not going to really want to take it too, too quickly. They don't want to rush into things. It's a very much an energy of they want to make sure that things fit, that things are being placed in the right space. Um, the foundation is firmly being created and well manifested because nobody wants to go back to the fuckery here, right? Nobody wants to go back to that. And it's interesting because 
With the Seven of Swords here, I'm really getting an energy of spying almost as well. Just the way, just the, how this woman looks in the card. And then you do have the Page of Swords here. So that's the official spying card, right? So someone's definitely watching, and I feel like has been watching for a while, and wants to come forward, say something, maybe apologize. But there is some sort of wish fulfillment and some sort of healing that's happening here, okay? Cool, so let's get some clarification. Good old clarification time. So we're going to start with the Magician and the King of Pentacles here. One more shuffle. Clarification for today. Monday, December 10th. Alright, thank you so much, Spirit. So, let's get into some clarification of this King of Pentacles and the Magician. Ooh, wee. Look at that. A union of sorts. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, underneath the deck you have the three of wands, okay? So there's definitely an energy of um, waiting for the ships to come in, waiting for a return on an investment. Many of you really have prayed for this, okay? Now, this is a soulmate, a counterpart. We have the king of pentacles again. <laughs> but with the Six of Cups and the Four of Wands. So this could definitely be someone from the past, uh, from your past in some way coming back here. Ooh. Okay. Um, there definitely could be someone from the past coming in. In some capacity. Uh, it could be someone that you dated in the past. It could be someone that, um, oh, it could be someone from a past life, but this is, this, this is a union of sorts, okay? With, uh, the Four of Wands. Now, we do have the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Swords here. These two fell out, and these are reversed. But uh, spirit is saying to me that these don't, these don't fit. Yes, these are not part of that clarification. So we're gonna put it back. Um, yeah, they don't. They disregard that. They don't fit. <laughs> that was not part of it. Uh ha huh, ha. Huh. But we, yeah, that's funny. We have the King of Pentacles clarifying the King of Pentacles here. Uh, marriage commitment. I do feel like, because the, the, the King of Pentacles is definitely about commitment here. And then with the Four of Wands. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. Cool. So, now... Let's clarify. Seven of Swords, Five of Swords, and the Star. All right, this is healing energy here. Again, this is coming, this is from the past. Ooh. Page of Pentacles. Whoa there, whoa there, the Tower. Oh look, there's that Queen of Swords. Okay, well now she fits. <laughs> okay, uh, so the Tower. And it's interesting, because I did mention the tower earlier. That's really interesting. We've got the Ten of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, the Tower, the Page of Pentacles. We also have the Five of Swords in reverse. Look at that. Strength, you and the Hermit. Excellent. So, here's the deal. 
things were burdened, or burdensome, excuse me, um, someone dropped it. Someone dropped the burdens. Okay. Ten of Wands, the Tower, and finally the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords is in reverse. So uh, there was definitely a Tower moment when someone decided to remove themselves from some sort of Five, a five of Swords energy. Fuckery, um, one-upmanship, uh, ego battles, uh, lose-lose situations, quite frankly. Okay, So it was just really aggressive energy. Um, someone... Some people in the situation didn't really know how to act right, okay? Uh, and someone was uh, was very argumentative, um, very overly confrontational. And it could have, it, I mean, it could have something to do with ego, because we do have strength here, but someone removed themselves from this energy because they realized that the burdens that were involved and that created a bit of a tower moment, okay? And someone just cut that out with the Queen of Swords. We could be talking divorce here. Queen of Swords is a divorcee. Um, but now we have Strength and the Hermit uh, with the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles, okay? So the Strength and the Hermit is someone, someone basically took their power back, all right? Probably went into a bit of a hermit mode, um, but decided to let their light shine instead of being controlled by others. Okay. But also, someone is moving forward in a brand new direction here with the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. So now the Knight of Pentacles, in this sense, is is basically talking about someone is starting over and moving pretty slowly. Um, but with the Page of Pentacles, that's that starting over energy for me. Uh, what I'm also getting, though, is an energy of someone is moving slowly towards some sort of commitment also, an offer of commitment, potentially. Uh, the Page of Pentacles can symbolize a messenger. Now, we there are a lot of pentacles here so far. We have the King of Pentacles twice, and we've got the Knight of Pentacles twice, and now the Page of Pentacles. So... This is definitely, we definitely could be talking career and finances. Someone may have left a job recently. And it was it was just a burdensome situation. Too taxing, too overbearing. Uh, and so they cut it out. They, they removed themselves from it. In favor of doing something that is more in alignment with who they are, with strength and the hermit. Okay. Now, that could even be said with the clarifiers up here, the King of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, and the Four of Wands, clarifying the Magician and the King of Pentacles, uh, someone is manifesting a new job opportunity, a new career, something like with the Six of Cups, like I said, something that is more in tune with who they truly are. Um, maybe brings back some sort of some sense of childlike wonder, something that they've always wanted to do um, either as a kid or earlier in life, but they actually never got around to do it or they never allowed themselves to pursue it. Four of Wands is stating that, you know, you have a good solid foundation within yourself, okay? Four of Wands can mean marriage. Um, it can mean the home. Uh, but also, lately, to me, it's been talking a little bit about your own inner foundation, right? And this would be um, spiritually or, you know, w with what inspires you. And part of the message of the Four of Wands is that while you have this good foundation and, you know, this definitely could be a time for celebration, it's also not a time to rest on your laurels because you still have to keep the fire going. Right? But this is definitely a good, solid place to start over, to reinvent yourself. <clears throat> There's a lot of tower energy lately. There are a lot of major shifts that are happening around. But it's all a good thing. It's all in service of, of greater authenticity. Okay? So finally... 
this row here, this is a counterpart. The Wheel of Fortune, the Lovers, Knight of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Page of Swords. They regret something. They may you they may see you as the one that got away. They may regret not taking the opportunity that they had in the past when they had it, like right then and there. So they may there it's like with the Page of Swords and the Five of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. They're slowly trying to figure out a new way to approach you. Let's get some clarifiers on it though. Thank you so much. Oh, the sun. Well, isn't that beautiful? Ooh, okay. <laughs> Underneath the deck, we have more pentacles. We have the four of pentacles. It's like they don't want to let you go. They're holding on to you. You have the sun, you have the eight of swords, and the three of cups. Well, that's sure, and that sure is interesting. <laughs> They're holding on to dear for dear life, okay? They're holding on to something with the Four of Pentacles. And, you know, this is a general message, but the, I'm getting two major things. Either they're holding on to you or they're holding on to the idea of you. They don't want to really let you go. They don't want to let you out of their sights because they want to approach you in some way. Or, at the same time, they may be holding on to the past too much. Um, their own ways. I feel like some someone is pretty stubborn here with the Four of Pentacles. We do have the Sun though, um, and but see the contradictory. The contradiction here is that the Sun is coming out with the Eight of Swords. They feel trapped. Maybe you feel trapped. Take it as it resonates. But I really feel like it's this other person that's trying to approach you. Feel tra they feel trapped. Um, in their own, in a, it, it's funny because they're in a, their own mind, they're in their own mental bind. And as I was saying that, um, what I was thinking in my head was that they are, uh, they're kind of, they've kind of put themselves in this Eight of Swords energy. And they're afraid that they won't be able to come out of it. Three of Cups. There's a social aspect here. Now, the, originally the Three of Cups fell out on the Page of Swords. So, um, I feel like it's almost, for some of you, they're looking for a way to reconcile within some sort of social setting. Maybe some, like, maybe like running into you at a party or something like that. But also, they are just looking, they're looking for a way to reconcile because the Three of Cups is, can be, can talk about reconciliation, can talk about union. You do have two cards of union here, Three of Cups and the Four of Wands. But it's like they're looking for a way to reconcile here. Four of Pentacles, they're really just, they're holding on to you for dear life. There is a little twinge of stubbornness there, but I'm really getting mostly that you know, they're holding on. They don't really want to let go. I'm feeling compelled to do a second pull of clarification for this row. Because this is a big row. So let's see. One more, please, Spirit. What else do you have for us? One more message. Look, the Five of Cups again. Okay. And underneath the deck. Aw, yeah, guys. The Knight of Cups now is underneath the deck. There is definitely an apology that is trying to come through that needs to come through. Holy shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. So we've got the Five of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Herm and the, uh, the Hanged Man. Wow. All right. Someone has, has recently gained some serious perspective or... Someone is in the process of gaining some sort of perspective, seeing something differently. Now, with the Four of Pentacles that did come out, it was underneath the deck for the first part of clarifying this section. Um, 
that really could be the energy that um, they're coming out of, that they're gaining perspective on in order to release some sort of stubborn tendencies or old way of being, old way of thinking, old way of, approach of approaching something, old way of doing something. They might be fighting it pretty hard, but also what I'm getting with that is it's an, it's an old habit to change. Well, I'm sorry, not an old, a hard habit to change. Old habits die hard, that kind of energy. But the, either the perspective has already been gained, or once the perspective is gained, someone is really going to have a major change of heart. There's going to be a major shift within this person. And it has to do with regret and remorse from the past and a new sense of self-love. So someone may may well come forward with an, an, an offer, Knight of Cups, okay? Now, the only reason I'm saying that someone may come through trying to show some love in some way with the Eight of Cups, the really only reason I feel comfortable enough to say that this could actually manifest as an offer or a gesture, you have the Knight of Cups here, okay? And the Knight of Cups is underneath the deck. So that's kind of the focus of the energies of this person right here. They're trying to understand how to come forward and make some sort of apology, make some sort of offer, some sort of peace offering, that sort of thing. Hmm. Okay. Reconciliation is at hand. That's what I'm hearing right now. A piece of advice for this person, if you are resonating with this, if you resonate with the energies of this person right down here, the sun is saying that, you know, everything's going to be okay. The sun is the best card in the deck, all right? It's the brightest, most happiest card in the deck. It's very abundant in the energy. But the sun is also about illumination. So however you're feeling trapped here with the Eight of Swords, please understand that you can get yourself out of that, Okay. All you got to do is walk over to those swords and cut yourself free. And that comes from illumination here with the sun. So you're really going to have to, you're really going to have to be open to seeing things differently. And that's what you're in the process of doing right now. The hanged man, the ace of cups, the five of cups. Hmm, but wishes and dreams are coming true all around. Again, I really feel like you two are manifesting each other in like a weird, indirect way. <laughs> all right. Okay, so I'm going to move to the uh, Oracle Guidance section now. <laughs> Phoenix is underneath the deck. Um, and that actually resonates with this situation here. There is like a phoenix from the ashes risen type of situation going on for both, well, for all parties in some way. Okay. Oracle guidance, please. Spirit. For Monday, December 10th, 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right. Here we go. Oracle guidance, please, Spirit. Gazelle, one more. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have Gazelle and we have crocodile wow <clears throat> yeah that's fitting actually and it's not a bad thing at all the crocodile is very much about biding your time laying low resting waiting for the right time to strike in a sense but we're going to start with gazelle gazelle 
heightened awareness and ability, vulnerable. The gazelle represents supreme grace. With every move, this awe-inspiring beauty emits sophistication and elegance. Gazelle personalities are often hyper-aware of their surroundings, bordering on hyper-vigilant, and this can inhibit them from enjoying the beauty they've spent so much effort cultivating. No more worrying about all those predators out there in the world. When this card appears, it's time to get back to the present moment. Sit down, find your breath, and acknowledge the bounty that surrounds you. Let it nourish your gentle spirit. When in balance, gazelle is graceful, perceptive, and artistic. When out of balance, uh, gazelle experiences food allergies, insomnia, and a racing mind. To bring into balance, one can practice yin yoga, spend time at a, a cozy home, spend time in a cozy home, or enjoy some good food. But then here's that <laughs> here's that predator that it was talking about, crocodile. That's kind of funny. But I think this is an energy of polarity, so masculine, feminine type thing. And I'm really getting, I'm feeling like the masculine here is the crocodile, whereas the feminine here is the gazelle. All right, crocodile. Resting, submerging, collecting energy, cooling off. The crocodile reminds us to step back from the external world and turn inward. Now is not the time for decisions, actions, or discussion. The crocodile's mantra is wait. This doesn't mean lying around hoping life's challenges will disappear. The crocodile is much smarter than that. It means intentionally withdrawing, gathering our awareness, observing, and building energy. Fill up the vital reserves so your next move comes from a place of wisdom and power. When in balance, Crocodile is wise, patient, and a silent powerhouse. When out of balance, Crocodile feels stuck and lashes out. To bring into balance, one must rest or uh, practice Makarasana pose. Okay, so also, here's the other thing. This is also joint energies. It's like someone, some of us are embodying both of these, both Gazelle and Crocodile, because both of these cards represent awareness. Okay, this definitely, both are representing awareness. So it's time to really sit down, sit with yourself and become aware of yourself, of your surroundings. I mean, Gazelle says, sit down, find your breath and acknowledge the bounty that surrounds you. Okay, and with Crocodile, it's really about, you know, resting, rebalancing, recalibrating, uh, collecting your energies, recuperating. And that's kind of the feel that I've been getting for the month. It's a restful energy. It's a recuperative energy, uh, a recalibrative energy this month. I mean, it's kind of like the ideal time for it. Things always kind of slow down around this time of the year. You know, you have the holiday season. People are spending time with friends and family and all that. Yeah. All right, so I want to close the reading with just some oracle guidance from the Whispers of Love. Oops. All right. One more shuffle, and then we'll see what we got for today. Just closing message. Closing message for today, December 10th. There we go. Oh, one more. One more. One more, please. There we go. Oh, we got two more. Okay. <laughs> All right. So underneath the deck is card number 23. Take a chance on love. When we start to love, our lives are changed forever. And we also have card number 32. Wait a second. 
23, okay. We have card number 32, though, that's cool. They do, they're mirroring. Uh, look at your patterns in relationships. It requires inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your behavior. We have like attracts like. So this is definitely that energy uh, of um, awareness, being aware of your patterns in relationships. If you are longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. Okay, so there's being aware. There's that awareness message. And finally, you have card number 14, ask for help. What is it you really need help with? Be willing to allow yourself to, uh, to allow yourself the support you need. So this is definitely a big message to ask for help from the universe in manifesting, in healing, in releasing old cycles, okay? Alrighty, guys. So there it is. Thank you for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you all have a great day. I look forward to seeing you guys tonight for happy hour, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be doing a general energy reading, and then the floor will be open if anyone would like a single question reading. And it is a discounted price because it is happy hour, so it's uh, $20 per question. Yes? And if I don't see you tonight, I look forward to our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care, everyone. Have a great day. Mwah! Bye.